Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, so I'm here again with all of our bits and bobs that we have made with our 12 by 12, um, you know, using up a full 12 by 12, um, you know, scrapbook paper pad. So I am back with obviously all the finished things that we have made. So let's just kind of move things to one side and we'll just kind of have a big, bit of a recap of what we've made. So I did manage to use up every single piece of the uh, 12 by 12 paper pad. Um, it was a 24 sheet paper pad. So, you know, I wasn't kind of overly ambitious, didn't pick a massive one. So we have made kind of two journal um, type pieces and a whole bunch of ephemera. So let's kind of have a look at the bits that we made so starting with we made these gorgeous envelopes so obviously I have not decorated any of these up I just haven't had time um so you know of course I will be decorating these at a later stage but yeah for the moment we've just got the plain envelopes and we just decorated just this one up so just to give you kind of an idea of, you know, how it will look once the rest are decorated. Isn't it just gorgeous? Absolutely love it. And then there's another one, obviously, ready for decorating. So, yep, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six envelopes. One decorated, five not. So that was pretty good going. We had these beautiful, beautiful little um, fold-out pieces. And we did actually decorate all of these up. Um, and I'm just going to just open just the one just to show you. In fact, I'm going to open this one with the magnetic closure because I love how this kind of turned out. So we just open it up like this and we've got our kind of three sides, which again, you know, like I kind of said, I think when we made these, I would probably put some scrap, uh, not scrap, but coffee dyed paper on these little patches here. So just to give you a bit of a, I mean, this is yellow, so please... Please ignore the fact it's yellow. But yeah, I would just cut it out into a square and just pop one on there, one on there. Maybe even one here on the top. Um, and then you've got your two little pockets here. So again, it's quite a good little piece to put into your journals. And then it all folds back down. This one, we've got the flap closure here um, with a magnet, but we did different um, closures. I won't kind of go through them all because obviously I did them, you know, with you guys. But yeah, so they were using an entire sheet um for each of the little things so again quite another you know good one to be able to use piece, pieces up fast then we had these little bits and pieces which we made a pocket we made a little fold out booklet we made the double corner pocket and the tag so they are all decorated up and then i've obviously i did the same side of oh, no, sorry, I can't talk today for some reason. The same concept with another sheet of paper, which I just didn't get round to actually finishing. So, of course, I've got, you know, this scrap and the same out of this. I've got this scrap to finish off. So I will make, you know, the tag piece and the double corner pocket out of these two bits that are left. Um, but we've got the same concept going on. So we've got this... Oops, I've touched that in, ready to uh, yeah, decorate it up. Um We've got the fold out little booklet with the pockets and we've got this pocket here, which I would have this way up on a page. Um, and then, yeah, we've got obviously the rest of that scrapbook paper to be able to finish that up and make some other coordinating bits. So again, you know, quite a good use really. I mean, each piece or each little set has used just one scrapbook paper, but a whole scrapbook paper. And then what you've got is four really nice pieces to put into your journals. So, you know, they're really, really nice bits to have on hand and ready-made. So let's pop those to one side. Right, so the next piece that I've got, so let's do this one first. This was the Natasha over at Tre Treasure Books. This was her um, inspired um, little, um, yeah, I guess like accordion booklet. Now, all I've done is tie some ribbon round as a closure thought it looked really pretty like that so of course that whole ribbon can just be you know discarded if you didn't want it and then on the cover we've got a whole bunch of different things now I think I decorated the cover sort of partially with you guys but I'm sure that I added this section here um all of these decorative pieces you know at a later stage so it's a little bit different how it looked when we'd done it got this gorgeous tassel to the side and yeah the flowers so this obviously opens out and it's a, you know, quite a long sort of accordion type piece. 
but I'm just going to show you so as you can see how it looks, you know, opened out completely. Isn't it just scrummy? I love how it turned out so, so much. And then you've got a little journal type piece here, which I've also put in. So I'll show you all the kind of bits and pieces in a second. And then going over the page or over the other side, sorry, Again, just kind of open it out flat to show you guys how it looks. So I can't tell you how much I love the finished article. It just looks so pretty, doesn't it? I'm so sorry, I did just knock the camera. Right, so I'm going to start, I think, on this side. So this was, you know, what I would kind of call the, the front side, I suppose. So, yep, going over. We have got, now let me get this in frame. It's very difficult to fit in frame, obviously. So I folded up it over another piece of the scrapbook paper I made just this little flap. I've put a little pocket on the inside of there with a little pull out. We've got a pocket here. Again, just put in a little printable. We've got some bits and pieces here. All the um, clock type pieces and the pieces with the people, I think, are from my um, curator's collection, the set two with the portraits and the clocks and things. So, yeah, I just thought they went really nicely in here. I've got one of my labels. And then here I've got a big tag. Oops. So I decorated this, I think, pretty much off screen, um, using up all the rest of the kind of scrapbook papers that I had kept aside ready to do this. I've also mixed in one or two Stamperia pieces, which again, just, you know, I felt they went really nicely. I've put one of my bows on there. So lovely massive tag that just goes in here like that. Then here we've got our two corners and I just popped in a journal card there from my Victorian... Um, ephemera set one um a little bit of uh curator's collection there just the detail a little bow and then here i've just got one of my label pieces and a butterfly these are from my freebie butterflies um that are just over on my website um all other pieces unless i say they're freebies all the other pieces that i say are kind of mine they're in my shop so we've got this one which again just made this massive journal card and then just layered up. This is actually a Stamperia um, piece and one of my numbers and made a little tab. So that goes in there. This is a curator's collection piece again from my shop. Uh, the word timeless. And that just tucks in here. Now, if you recall, if you followed along with this, I had a bit of a mishap and obviously my inaccuracy at the folding. I did have some gaps where you could kind of see, um, you know, the other scrapbook papers. Now, I've tried to cover that up as best I can. So hopefully that's completely disguised and completely kind of lost now. Um, but yeah, I just want to kind of point that out because obviously whoever buys this, you know, I do want to kind of point that out. You've got a pocket here. Again, another curator's collection piece there, a little faux stamped piece. So this just tucks into that pocket like that. And then here again, I've just got one of my labels with again, another little piece there. Then this side, I've got a belly band. Again, we made this with the um, scrapbook paper. I've put a piece from the curator's collection, one of my bows and a label, and then just tucked behind there, I just made another massive tag. I love how this tag looks so much. Isn't that just so scrumptious? So I've got the Stamperia piece that I layered on there. I've got one of my bows and then one of my bright butterflies, which actually just color wise goes so well with that Stamperia piece. And I just thought, wow, love that tag. So simple, but so pretty. Then on this side, I've just put a pocket with the rest of the scrapbook paper. And again, just tucked in another piece there on the back. And then another piece there from the ephemera, um, Victorian ephemera set one. Then here I've got, again, I love how these pages look. They just look so beautiful. So again, I've got here just a couple of journal cards just popped into the pockets. Um, and then what I've done here, because this was, I think, the main place that I was having a lot of problems with bits showing from underneath. So again, I've just clustered up some bits. Again, this is from the Curator's Collection set two. And I just clustered those up or, you know, collaged them up. And that's just covered up that little gap there. I had another bit here that I thought was a little bit dodgy. So I've just put some lace there. The word beautiful. And, you know, it all is completely covered now. So it looks really, really pretty. One of my label pieces here. Oops, it's just got a little bit damaged there. I'll just press that down. Must be a bit careful. Um, and then here we've got, um, again, just... A little bow and a number tab and then again one of my little blue labels here and a piece tucked into that 
And then here I made just another journal card, a couple of um, tickets on there, and then just a little vintage invoice piece there. So that all just tucks in. Now this journal, um, and when I use the word journal, I mean, it's very basic. It's not really kind of, yeah, I mean, I'm not even sure it's worthy of the word journal, but basically it's just literally a few um, food colored pages put together with the, um, you know, sewing on the sewing machine. Then I've just put some um, fabric down the spine to reinforce it and a little flower. I've left it really, really plain. Um, you've just got one cluster in there and that's literally it. Now it's tied in with this ribbon. So the whole thing can just be then slipped out and obviously journaled on completely separately. You could take it out and you could put it in a cover, um, you know, if you wanted to not have it in here. So, you know, but you could take it out and make another one if you kind of then finish this one up and you wanted another one, you could do that. So it just slips in under that ribbon and that ribbon's just tied up with a bow so again, if you didn't like that entire thing, you could get rid of the ribbon, get rid of the journal. And then I just put another tassel on the ribbon, just attached to the ribbon, and that just kind of hangs out over the edge of the journal, of the folio piece, you know. And then on the back of the inside cover, again, just did another big pocket. I just had this lovely image from a book, put that there, popped a couple of pieces from my um, vintage ephemera set one, and then just made another tag again with the scrapbook paper and put some labels on there. So that is all of that. Oops, pop that in. Okay, so we turn it over now. Oops. Oh, that must have been in the back somewhere and now I can't remember where it was. Right, okay, well hopefully it will come, come clear now. So on the back, we've got just a piece of the scrapbook paper and one of my big bows and some lace. That's all I felt it kind of needed on the back. I made a little flippy pad here, which I've just literally put together and then stuck on here. Now, just want to point out again, you have to be a bit careful because this is getting a little bit creased, obviously, when it folds up. So you just kind of need to be a bit careful when you kind of put it in. On this side, I've just got another pocket there with some of the scrapbook paper. Again, just popped in another piece of my Victorian vintage ephemera. And here's some of my curator's collection and one of my little number pieces. So that just goes in there like that. Now that's quite a tight squeeze in there, I must just say. So yeah, need to be a bit careful putting that one in. I haven't got the foggiest where this was. Oh, it must've been in here. So then I've got similar thing here with some lace and things and some bits from the curator's collection. And again, just a journal card. That just slips in there. Again, just kind of a couple of pockets here. And then these two journal cards are just held together with this altered paper clip with some fabric and a little flower. I just thought it went really nicely in here. And that just all slips in like that. Got some more of the curator's collection pieces, just, you know, for continuity really, um, going through, through the whole um, journal. So, oops, that's getting caught on something. Isn't it just always the way? Because these things don't happen when you're kind of there on your own. And then, um, you know, the second you come to do something on video, there we go. Of course, everything kind of then goes to pot. Hold on a second, my phone's just ringing. Sorry about that, that was just my son. Um, right, so then, yep, we go in, ooh, like this. So sorry, I'm now thrown from the phone call. Okay, right. Uh, why is this not folding? Right, okay, so that's like that. And then this piece. Now, what I've done, when I've put the flippy pads, I've made sure that this would lie flat. So this one lies completely fat, flat when you open this out um, enough. So if you kind of kept this folded, it of course would be in the way. So what you have to do is kind of lay it down like that. And this is completely flat then for journaling. So you've got obviously flippy pad Oops, flippy pad here for journaling and exactly the same with this one if you kind of open it out whoops open it out like that and like that again this lays flat then and you can journal on there so yeah I just wanted to kind of quickly point that out because um just in case that didn't kind of come across really so going on this side we then have a large pocket here again with the scrapbook paper um a label here with a pocket or making a pocket that's got that tucked in and then just a big journal card there with one of my large numbers that's up there 
Um, I'm not quite sure what's happened here. This just seems to have a weird fold. So again, it's probably something to do with my rubbish, um, you know, folding in the first place. But I just, again, I want to just point this out because, yeah, it looks a bit sort of strange, but hopefully it's, it's still fine. Um, and then we've got, obviously, the flippy pad there for journaling. So, I mean, to be honest, it's actually got quite a lot of journaling space in there um, for something that's really quite little and... Um, yeah, quite small. It's actually got, you know, a surprising amount of journaling space going on in there. So we shall just do that up and put that to one side. So that's that one. And then the final one. So this is probably my favourite, although I have to say I do really, really love that other um, accordion book that we just looked at as well. So yeah, I'm a bit torn between the two. But I love how this one turned out too. Obviously, we made lots of this together, so you will have seen quite a bit of this. Now, I've just used some of my daughter sold skirt here. It's in this kind of dusty pink. It's got some sparkle on it, so it's quite pretty. Um, and all I did was, it's very raggedy, um, cut and torn out, you know, out of her skirt or off of her skirt. And then I've just uh, tied in a bow, a knot, tied in a knot two lengths so that it's doubled up and then it's you know looking a lot more kind of significant and more to it so yeah it just goes underneath kind of around and then just tied in a bow so again if you didn't want that you wouldn't have to have it just again want to just point out there are one or two marks on this obviously it was a used skirt of my daughter's and you know she's the world's most careless person so you know it's just got like one or two marks obviously the skirt has been washed but there are just marks of pen and things that just won't really come out so yeah, I mean, I can't really see much else other than this particular mark, but they they could be. Um, so I just want to kind of point that out. But yeah, I think it looks very pretty anyway. Um, right, so yep, love how this looks. So I think we decorated up the cover together, but I actually can't remember, I'm afraid. Um, I've done so many bits kind of with you and then without you, I can't remember what was with and what was without. So on the cover... We've got a flower here, a little tassel, lots of bits collaged up. Now we mixed this in with this kit, which at the time of filming and still now at this time of filming, this is not yet in my shop. Hopefully by the time these videos goes up, go up, this kit will be in my shop, but at the moment it's not. Um, so I don't know what it's going to be called or anything, but hopefully it will be actually, you know, listed in my shop by the time this video goes up. So all of these kind of decorative um, papers and bird images, they are all from this kit. Um, we've got a pocket here on the front. We've got some trim, some lace. And then I had this gorgeous butterfly from a Happy Mail, which, oh my goodness, it just looks like it was made for it, doesn't it? Um, little paper flower there that, again, I got that from a Happy Mail. Um, and then a little flower trim, again, from a Happy Mail. So gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, this, again, is an accordion book. So I'm going to just open it out to, again, show you the whole thing in all its glory. So let's just kind of work our way along the desk or along yeah along the table kind of thing so isn't that just so gorgeous so we'll look at it now in a bit more close kind of um close detail so there's also a little basic journal it's not held in or attached so it's yeah it just kind of obviously fell out from the back but i will just show you that in a second it's not um you know a decorated journal or anything like that so on the inside of the front cover, we put two, um, you know, pockets there, sort of double pockets. And we've just got some um, collage details going up with some bits and pieces from this kit. And then I've mixed in. So these are all pieces from the kit. This is just a little flippy sort of booklet. And I've just, you know, put up, uh, put on one decorative piece from the kit. So that all just goes... Oh, just finished this off with a bow on that um, tag. So these two go into the front pocket. Then I mixed up a Stamperia um, tag because how well does that go? So yeah, that's tucked in there. Then on this one, again, you've got a couple of journal cards. Now this one here is tucked in behind the tuck spot. This one is tucked in in the envelope like that. And then this one here is tucked into this front pocket. This is the Stamperia tag. The others are journal cards from my shop. So that just goes in there like that. Then we've got some lace here on the edge. Now, it looks like it's doing this weird thing now. That's because, of course, it's open flat. So they're kind of like against each other. When it's obviously folded over, you know, how it ordinarily is, 
they obviously lay out to the edge so yeah I just wanted to kind of point that out because I know that looked a bit weird um so this side we've got again a stamperia image acting as a little tuck another little kind of flippy booklet just from literally scraps from this uh, food colored paper a piece from my kit and that just goes whoops in there like that and then tucked into this which is a large pocket again I put a couple of stamperia journal cards you know just because they just really have you know turned out by fluke that they actually just go with this um, kit so brilliantly and then you've got this fold out piece from the kit that's in my shop so yeah really really nice pieces there and then that just all tucks in to that pocket and then here we've got another pocket here from the scrapbook paper a label and some bits there from the kit and then tucked into here we've got a couple of stamperia pieces and then we've got a little tuck that goes in like a little flip and we put some scrapbook paper uh, not scrapbook uh, food colour paper on there for journaling and then we just put a little flippy pad like that as well and then you've got just a little hidden journal spot down there so it looks really really pretty and again the same as with the other one if you actually unfold this it does lie flat obviously it's not going to lie flat all the time that you've got bits still kind of folded up um but yeah if you kind of unfold it it will it will lie flat then on this side we've got another pocket again a piece from the kit and a little bow and some lace and then tucked in here I just made a very basic kind of mini like journal here just again using a piece from the kit and just some food color paper inside it's just been little um literally uh bound with some embroidery thread and got some lace down there and then a little butterfly from the kit as well that just tucks in there you've got just a label from the kit there as well and then here we've got that envelope. Now, I think we did make this together. So this envelope is kind of stitched into this spine. Again, if you didn't like that, you could probably get your scissors in here and cut this off. Um, you've just got a couple of pieces from the kit and then inside, again, just a tag from the kit in there. And that just closes. Just put some bits on the front there. So just, you know, says you've got some pretty things on there. Um, and then here on this side, love how that back of that envelope looks. Just so pretty, isn't it? And then here we've got another pocket running down the side. Again, another Stamperia piece here that's like a tuck spot. It's not got anything in, but you could easily put something in there. And then here I've just got a piece of the background page, which I just left in its entirety. It's just so gorgeous. This is from um, the kit that's, you know, hopefully in my shop now um and just you know tri folded it and rounded the corners so that goes in the first pocket here Oops. and then here at the back just made a big journal card just with one of the scrapbook papers from the 12 by 12 pad we are using up and some of the kit there and this faux postage stamp again from the kit then on the back, um, you know, I didn't really want to do a lot to the back. I know I've talked about this before. I just don't really decorate backs up, I think, because psychologically I just think, oh, it's just the back, you know. Um, so I've just put a little bit of lace down there and just um, a little label from the kit there and a flower trim and some lace. And then I've got a stamp period tag and a journal card and they just tuck into the pocket. And then we just open this out this way and we've got a double pocket going on here tucked in to there we've got a piece of the scrapbook paper again uh, not scrapbook paper sorry the paper from the kit so again that's just tucked in and then a couple of pieces from the stamperia paper pad there that just you know it all just goes really nicely and then we've got some bits there from the kit that hopefully is in my shop again and a little label from the kit as well and then a couple of journal cards we've got here one from the kit and then one from this again the stamperia paper i just put on a heart from the kit and then a tab and some lace so that just then all tucks in to that pocket at the back and then here on this side we just put a little kind of flip no not a flip sorry <laughs> very hard to remember what you do isn't it uh, right, not a flip, 
just a little kind of cluster of the papers so that's kind of like a little um yeah just like a little secret journaling spot i guess like that um we've put some of the background page from the kit on there and then we've just got this big pocket here we've got some more of that background page and just oh it all just looks really pretty together again i took one of the background pages from the kit and just trifolded it up and popped that into that pocket and then here we've got a journal card from stamperia and then here i just made a journal card and then put some pieces from the stamperia kit as well or paper pad as well one of my bows on there so that just all tucks in there like that hold on a second i just need to stop the camera my son's here hold on sorry about that the um you know our virgin internet thing we just had to kind of you know i've obviously transferred that all into my name and got a new contract so yeah the man's here apparently to collect the old the old kit um you know with the old booter and things so yeah just had to tell my son where that is um right so on this one we just attached this envelope here as a kind of fold out so I've collaged up a bunch of things onto the envelope. We've put a pocket here with the um, scrapbook paper from the 12 by 12 paper pad. We've got some lace trim. And then here I just put another tag from the Stamperia paper pad. Another piece from the kit there in this kind of corner tuck. So you've got a corner tuck here. You've got a pocket, oops, pocket here. And then you've got this fold out, which is obviously the envelope. Again, just layered up some paper from the kit and then tucked into there again you've just got another piece of the background page from the kit there so i mean you could gesso over this paint over it you know however you like you could stick some um you know coffee dyed paper on there and journal i mean you could put photographs on here you know however you like to to use your journals really um this is just obviously you know giving you the bare bones from which you can kind of alter and make your own then here i've got a pocket Again, this is from the Stamperia paper pad. And I just made a journal card with, again, some more of the scrapbook paper there that was left. Um, collaged up some bits from the kit with a bow and then just tucks that, tuck that in. You have also got a little tuck spot up here, although now I think I perhaps glued it down. Oh, no, it's fine. Um, but, yeah, I haven't put anything in there. But, again, you could put something up there. But, yeah, I'm just going to put that there. And then the final piece is this flippy pad. So again, just got a gorgeous bunch of papers. So you've got some food coloured papers in this pretty pink. And then you've got some of the background pages from the kit as well. Obviously finished off with this one on the front. You've got some lace trim going across the top with a little pearl. And then underneath, this is actually a pocket. Again, there's nothing in there, but you could put something in there. And then just a piece from the kit there. And again, you know, like I say, if you kind of lay this out like that, this is going to lay flat for you to be able to journal on. So alternatively, this piece actually, you could fold the cover around and it lays pretty flat like that. So, you know, hopefully it's all quite accessible for, you know, for getting in and journaling on it. Um, and then, like I say, the closure, you've just got this piece from my daughter's skirt and I just put that round the back and I thought it was quite pretty tied, um, you know, down lengthways rather than across, you know, as I would kind of perhaps ordinarily. Um, and that's it. So, yeah. Oh, no, that's not it. Sorry. <laughs> totally forgot to show you then. It was thrown obviously by the Virgin Man. Um, there is also a very basic journal. So when I say very basic, I really do mean it. We've just got some scrap... Uh, Stamperia paper pad here making the cover so I just stitched two sheets together so it's a bit more robust put some bits on from my kit um put some lace down the side lace here label and a bow and then when you open it out I just put with the very last bits of the 12 by 12 paper pad that we were using up I just made a little corner tuck there just popped in a journal card a label from the kit a label from the kit down here piece of the paper from the kit and then the rest is pretty much completely undecorated so we've just got a paper clip there an altar paper clip there that's holding in just a tag from the kit and then one of the background pages that's just been printed onto vellum so you know again you really then can use this you know all these things exactly as you like so you know you can either use them to journal on or keep them with this you could put them in a different journal however you like but you've got options there 
we've got the paper bag and I just put in a tag from the kit again into that paper bag look a bit of paper from the kit there just you know all for decorative kind of detail really little label from the kit there and then here just got a paper clip from the kit which ah it's got nothing on it uh, <coughs> oh excuse me luckily there were two um journal cards in the back so you can just clip on another journal card from the kit there and then obviously the other pages and then here on the back that's the other piece of scrapbook paper which i just made that corner pocket and then another journal card from that kit so you know although very basic journal it's actually got quite a lot of um you know decent journaling space in there now i just tucked it in this way round into the folio -y type bit itself and then it all lays pretty flat to be honest and then of course can just tie it tie it with the soft net from my daughter's skirt so yeah i really hope that you like everything um you know i mean when you think all of this was born out of one 12 by 12 paper pad and not not a huge pad either just one with 24 pages so i mean haven't we just got an abundance of yummy lovely goodies you know i can't believe really that we made so much lovely things um so these are obviously going to be available in my shop now i always say this i do have a waiting list so i will probably go down the waiting list that said i'm running behind at the moment with things like that so it could be that actually these are not going to be listed for a little bit um you know until i get time um but yeah i really hope that you like it all i hope you were all inspired to actually maybe get out some of your 12 by 12 paper pads that have just been sat in your stash for a long time um and you know let me know how it went did you make the same things as me have you now got the same things as me or actually did you kind of then go off um you know on your own kind of path you know and make some other kind of variations and things like that did you achieve using up your 12 by 12 paper pad so yeah i hope that you like it um hopefully this video is going to go up as the last video on new year's eve of 2021 so um yeah i want to just say happy new year to everybody i hope you all have a wonderful new year's eve and I will see you guys in 2022. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.